Hey guys, how you doing? My name is TJ and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to get your app ideas and personal projects and blogs onto the internet. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about data centers, servers, and web hosting, and ultimately walking you through how to actually launch your website onto the internet using Hostinger. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So feel free to comment below any questions that you might have as I'm walking through this video. And even if you don't have questions, just comment below to say hi. I do my best to actually respond to each and every comment. So say hi if you want, and I'll say hi back. So yeah. How do you get your personal app ideas and projects and websites onto the internet? The answer is web hosting. Web hosting is when a company gives you space on their data centers for you to put your websites and applications. And once your application is on their data centers, they connect you to the internet using their servers. Now, a data center is just a building that has machines that store data. So high level, that's essentially how web hosting works. Now, when it comes to picking a web hosting provider, the main questions that you have are going to revolve around what type of website you plan on launching onto the internet, how much uptime you need, how much control you want when it comes to the actual web hosting provider, and ultimately how fast do you think that your business is going to grow. Now, another question that you actually have to deal with is what type of web hosting do you need? Because there are quite a few different types of web hosting and I'm going to tell you about them now. So the first type of web hosting that you should know about is called shared hosting. Shared hosting is best for blogs or a small business or something that is just starting out because with shared hosting, you share access to space and resources with other websites on that same server. And WordPress hosting is another type of hosting service that is specifically optimized for WordPress websites. And after that, you have dedicated hosting, which gives you full control and access to your own data centers and resources. And you don't share anything with anyone. It's just strictly for you. And finally, another type of web hosting is called VPS hosting which is sort of like shared hosting, but a lot stronger and more advanced. Because even though you're still sharing a server with other websites, you are still assigned your own resources that are just for you and not shared with anyone else. So now that we've covered the basics, I'm gonna actually show you how to launch your own application or website from your computer onto the internet using Hostinger. All right guys, so again, I'm gonna be showing you how to actually launch your own website or application onto the internet using Hostinger. And let me just show you quickly the website that I'm going to be launching onto the internet. So if I come in this folder and I click on my index.html, now this is my current Roots Technology website. Uh, I am in the middle of doing a complete redesign of the website right now. So that website is not ready. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys how I would actually launch this website to Hostinger. So make sure that you follow along and click the URL below and also use the coupon provided below to get a special discount on their web hosting services. So let's not go to Hostinger using the URL below. Now this is the Hostinger website. And if we come down here, we'll see all of their web hosting plans. Now, if you just have like a small blog or something, that's not going to get a lot of traffic or anything like that, then you can definitely check out this single shared plan. But for the average developer that'll be launching a bunch of app ideas and different kind of like business ideas and websites online, then you should probably look into getting a more like premium shared hosting service. So this will give you a hundred different websites that you can launch. Uh, lots of storage as well with free email domains that you can create for each business idea that you have and also offer free SSL. And so all of this also comes with access for you to be able to launch and deploy your applications using Git or SSH. Now, if you are building your own website or application, then you most definitely have Git already in your project. So I'm going to be showing you how to launch your application online using Hostinger. Now, if you have a really big business or, you know, kind of like a like a steady growing small business, then definitely check out the business shared hosting plan. But the premium shared hosting plan is the most popular service and it is also very affordable. So if you click select, this is the one that I'm going to sign up for. 
So the first step in actually completing your order is to actually pick a period in terms of how long that you want the order to last for. So if you pick a month, your subtotal is going to be about $10. And if you pick 12 months, you know, you see that subtotal, but you could actually save a lot of money if you pick 48 months. So I typically launch a bunch of app ideas uh, just throughout the years. And I don't really like wondering about what type of hosting service to use or whatever. So I'm actually going to be picking this 48 month option because this helps me to save the most money for the longest period as well and it still costs about as much as the cheaper plans so you can just enter your your email here like i'm going to be doing or you can sign in with facebook github and google so right now i'm just going to put my email address here and i'm also going to be paying with paypal but they also offer credit card payments google pay and if you're a big fan of cryptocurrency they also offer coin payments as well. And again, these are just some of the reasons why I really like Hostinger. Uh, they have 24 seven chat support, uh, top speed. They're optimized for WordPress. If you have a WordPress site and they also have really good customer reviews. And again, these are some of the items that actually come free with our package. We have free SSL and domain names and setup. Uh, and we already have a discount that they're doing, but you guys can actually get a further discount by using this special coupon below that I'm even going to use here. So the coupon is Tolu versus TJ. And if you press this plus sign, that's going to apply the coupon and it saves us a few dollars, right? So now it costs a bit less and I'm going to click to submit my payment and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, so once you actually pay and create your account, this is going to be the first thing that you see, and this is the welcome screen. So this is going to be a guided setup to make the onboarding process a lot easier for us. So just click start now. And here, the next step is to name your website. So either claim a free domain, buy a domain, or use an existing domain. So this is a good reason to actually buy the shared premium plan because it comes with a free domain already included. So I'm gonna click here to select my domain. All right, so I'm gonna name my website the new roots technology.online and click search to see if that's available for us to purchase. And it is, so I'm gonna click continue. So our next step is to actually decide how we want to launch our website onto Hostinger. So the options you have are to either build a new website using this platform or to migrate from a different platform onto Hostinger. Or then you have the option to skip and start from scratch. So I'm gonna take you guys through this step. So click skip. And the reason why I'm gonna be using this step to skip it is because I wanna actually connect Hostinger to my GitHub account where these files live. So if I click skip and start from scratch, the next step is to finish our setup here. So I'm just gonna change my website location to the USA, North America, select and finish setup. So the next step is to now complete our domain registration. So this is going to be personal for me. I'm going to click next steps. And you guys should actually fill this information out and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so once we've actually done our domain registration form, it's gonna start getting our website ready. And the next thing is to go to our control panel. So we go to manage site. All right, so now on this screen, if you scroll all the way down, you will see a place where it says advanced and you'll see Git. So you can actually use Git and GitHub to actually connect your website to the internet. So actually, I'm going to show you guys what my GitHub account looks like to where these files and folders is actually located for the website that I'm trying to launch. So now this is where the website that I actually want to launch is on my GitHub account. So this is just tjoya20.github.io. So this is the URL and this is where all of those files are that I need for my website. Now going back to Hostinger, let's see how we can actually use Git to upload our files. So we can actually upload a private Git repo or we can create a new repository. So examples for public repositories, put the HTTPS URL or for private ones, you can use this format here. 
so mine is a public repository so I'm just gonna grab this URL and I'm gonna put that here and it is the master branch so if you are building a website or or an app idea then you should definitely know about git and github uh, if not stay tuned and make sure that you subscribe to my channel uh, because I'm gonna be releasing a git and github tutorial video coming soon all right but yeah this is our master branch that this code is on so now I'm gonna click create and it's telling me that my git repository was stored successfully and you can see it down here so now when I have the options to deploy it to view latest build auto deploy etc alright so once we've actually deployed our website we can just go back up here and go to our dashboard and let's try to preview this and see if our website is actually launched yet so we can just click this link on the left for our domain and boom so this is now showing us what the preview of our website looks like and a lot of times it takes a while for your website to actually launch onto the internet so I mean, you might have to wait a few minutes or a couple hours but Hostinger will actually notify you to let you know once your website is fully deployed and you are able to view it on the domain that you bought instead of the preview link and as you can see this is what the preview of my website looks like and this is what it's going to look like once it is fully deployed and launched onto Hostinger so that's it follow these steps launch your own websites and comment below and let me know what you think and wish you the best with your app ideas and your business ideas and all of that so all the best and good luck launching your application using a web hosting platform